Great. Um, thank you, Heather. Uh, my name is Ray Uswish, and I am Director of Collections and Digital Services for Texas State University Libraries, and I will be speaking with you today about open source digital ecosystems for accelerating global research, innovation, and collaboration. And this is a lightning talk focused on a successful working model we have at Texas State Universities, and it's really focused towards future visioning in terms of big picture possibilities. So so I wanted to begin with a couple of questions. Can we enable scholarly research network ecosystem possibilities on global levels? And then second for a big question, is it time to begin thinking systematically about empowering a global research university community? So those are the questions I wanna examine. Now to step back and give a couple of facts about research universities and statistics. There's approximately 266 to 300 research institutions in the US and Canada. These are Carnegie, R1 and R2, very high or high research university activity universities with associate research, associated research library infrastructures. Beyond that, there's estimated 1,000 to 1,250 research intensive universities worldwide. Now the big question becomes, is it possible to enable the top two to 3% of research institutions globally? Essentially 1000 institutions with open digital research ecosystems. And these are institutions beyond the few elite universities who already possess these. So to begin again with another question, how do we define an open digital scholarly research ecosystem? Well, we define this here at Texas State as a network of several software components to enable research faculty and graduate students to accelerate research, innovation, and global collaboration. And this is an example to the right of the Texas State University digital research ecosystem. Now, what are the general software characteristics of an open digital scholarship ecosystem? Well, one, open source software, two, active developer communities, and three, customizable components for easy configurability and connectivity. Now, what classes of open source software components are needed to create a digital scholarship ecosystem? Well, two primary, the research data repository and the digital collections repository, and four tertiary, an electronic thesis and dissertation management system, an identity management system, academic journal software, and user interface content management software, essentially content and communication. Together, these digital ecosystem components enable the academic research cycle. On abstract levels, this has to do with the quality assurance and dissemination of knowledge. And on pragmatic levels, this has to do with the discovery and gathering and analysis of research and the writing and publishing and sharing and impact of research. The simple larger idea here is that co-locating open source digital components in a networked research environment enables larger connections and our network effects, accelerating research, collaboration, and innovation. We've done a lot of quantitative and qualitative assessment between 2014 and 2020. And this digital research ecosystem that I'm speaking about today shows very strong and continued potential for growth. There's also many beneficial internal and external effects of such a system. Internally, these digital components together significantly raise and optimize search engine rankings for research and their research, essentially discoverability. Externally, this ecosystem enables collaborative opportunities among researchers and research institutions. Now, returning to the big question, Pragmatically, how do you enable a larger set of research institutions globally? 
that top two to three percent of research institutions, 1,000 institutions, uh, research institutions, and research libraries, approximately 90 percent of the research in intensive universities uh, globally. This leads me to the future visioning segment of this presentation and the big idea grand challenge a solution foundation funders part of the uh, presentation. In terms of our future vision, the uh, initiative we're interested in forwarding is called one server and you can look at the icons here in terms of one server uh, per unit research university initiative. The vision of this uh, initiative is to give 1,000 research universities, academic libraries as their central infrastructure globally, one configured research ecosystem server with the six open source research ecosystem software components I've been talking about hold week-long trainings over six continents, and then create a global help network to get the institutions and the academic libraries started. After five years, gauge the global effects for global research. So to make some summary statements of um, this presentation, Placing open source research software components within a global digital ecosystem accelerates global collaboration, research impact, and possibilities for new insight and innovation, opens a new paradigm for research accessibility, retrieval, and sharing, creates evolutionary milestones for research ecosystems develop, development, and enables a new global roadmap for the forward progress of knowledge in the 21st century. If I haven't convinced you yet, and I know this has been a whirlwind talk for eight minutes, here's further references to papers and presentations and working examples of this system and these ideas. Further, if some of you here want to I'll link to the open source, source software mentioned and downloads reference, you can link here to actually create or recreate this system uh, yourselves. I would be happy to take questions and comments and um, thank you for listening to my presentation.